roof. You can see it all over the parking lot. The National Weather Service said that was the result of straight line winds, which in some cases we know star can be even more damaging than tornadoes. That's absolutely true. And you have to look at where the debris falls. Is it tossed around or is it all just straight knocked over? Now for us, we also dealt with very strong winds this weekend. Muncie, you had a gust of 64 miles an hour. Kokomo, 56 miles an hour and Eagle Creek 51. We are much quieter this morning. The breeze just sustained at about 10 miles an hour. We could see some gusts up to about 20, 25 over the course of the day, but we are nice and quiet going to have a dry stretch of weather here, so no umbrella needed for a couple of days. Cold start to the morning. We're sitting at 32 degrees, which for many of us is about 20 degrees colder than we were yesterday morning. Plainfield, you are at 34, 35 right now in Greencastle, 34 in Shelbyville, 37 in Columbus and the same reading there 37 in Connersville. Now as we head toward lunchtime, we are going to fight our way back into the 40s and then this afternoon we will just briefly hit the low 50s. That is right about where we should be this time of the year. Live Guardian radar quiet that cold front well off to the east and we can feel it. But as high pressure does settle in, we're going to see lots of sunshine today. Nice clear all the way through the morning and then as we head into the lunch hour, it will be cold but nice and sunny. And then as we head into this evening, a low is going to be passing us just to the north. That could throw some clouds our way, but the timing on that should give us a really vibrant sunset. So if you get any good pictures this evening, I'd love to see them. You can post those for me on my Facebook page. Then those clouds move out of here pretty quickly and overnight we will be mostly clear. So that'll mean another chilly start tomorrow morning. Today's high right on the money for normal 52 degrees. Plenty of sunshine expected still a little bit breezy, but not nearly as windy as it was yesterday. And then tonight under that mostly clear sky, we will drop pretty close to that freezing line once again at overnight low hitting about 34 degrees. And then tomorrow our temperatures struggle even more. We will only manage to hit 46 in the afternoon, so back below the average. Plus that northwesterly breeze is going to make it feel even cooler. So jackets needed the next couple of days. But take a look at this. Thursday and Friday look fantastic. Partly to mostly sunny both of those days. Highs going to hit the low 60s, which is some solid 10 degrees above the average. And our next chance for rain does not arrive until the weekend. So plenty of time if you do have any of those yard elements you have to get cleaned up here preparing for winter. You've got some good days ahead, especially Thursday and Friday. And I know a lot of people starting to put up their lights in preparation for the holiday season. So Friday, Thursday, those are both going to be good days for that. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Yep, this week.